This is Ranger Kidwell Ross, editor of World Sweeper, and we're at NPE 2011 with Frank Chulik. Frank is the president of Stuart Amos Sweeper Company, and he's going to talk to us about his Starfire series broom sweeper. So, Frank, take it away. Hello, Ranger. It's glad to have you back at NPE with us again this year. Uh, this year, we've unveiled our latest model of broom sweeper in our Starfire series. This is the S5 comes in of a single and twin engine version. The one we're displaying today is a single engine version uh, mounted on a Freightliner M2 106 chassis that uh, has 240 horsepower and as you can see one of the nice highlights is the control panel is very easy to use and very intuitive for the operator. This model features the optional gutter broom down pressure from in the cab and speed control on the uh, gutter broom and, and main brooms. So uh, as you can see everything is conveniently located to uh, operate on the left there. And if you look on the dash we have the 7 inch color monitor where every sweeper we build has a, an automatic in reverse camera and on single steer units such as this one we mount cameras on the gutter broom side or the curb side to uh, so the operator has full visibility of the gutter brooms in operation of, as well as using the mirrors so those are some of the easy operator features on the uh, on the on the s5 this s5 again is pto driven with load sensing hydraulics as you can see all of our hydraulics are up high away from the dirt the oil, the hydraulic oil cooler up there, as you can see, is uh, very high up, draws the fresh air in, keeps the hydraulics very cool, and uh, very easy to get at and service everything, as you can see. While we're here, you can see we have a 350 gallon water tank coupled to a 3.6 gallon per minute run dry water pump down on the other side. Um, and, and then again, while we're here, you can see the strength of our hopper lift scissors that uh, will hold this unit's five cubic yard that uh, holds full loads. You can see the elevator fits high into the hopper during operation to create the largest load possible in a five cubic yard sweeper. Uh, while we're here me mentioning the elevator, some of the things that we do that are, are unique our elevator features a third shaft in the middle and this is true of all of our broom sweepers and what that does is it takes tension off the chain on the flight squeegee system and by removing that tension the chain will last longer and it also gives more flexibility in the ability to uh, take tension off the chain or excuse me make adjustments on the chain before you take a link out of it and we also have remote monic grease fittings for the bearings that are hard to reach. We use a two inch Dodge bearing, not only for each shaft on the elevator, but our main broom as well is a two inch Dodge bearing. Standard is two inch carbide dirt shoe runners, or we feature the uh, brush, style, brush style dirt shoes, which we'll show you a picture of on the other side. And then one of the neat features of the S5 single engine version is the storage cabinet in the back for brooms, backpack blowers, uh, whatever someone, a contractor, wants to take on the job. We've got uh, plenty of storage for them. There sure is. And, uh, and I see you can access that from the back as well. From the back as well. Now, mm -hmm. in the twin engine version of this sweeper, obviously the rear end, the, the, the auxiliary engine goes back here. Mm -hmm. And uh, But there's still, even with the twin engine, there's plenty of room. Uh, for, for additional storage. There's a shot of the rear camera uh, that automatically goes on when you put the sweeper in reverse. And the other thing our sweepers do is when you put them in reverse, the brooms automatically pick up so that you have less damage uh, from backing over things. And that's, uh, that's a key feature that's it's standard. Again, everything we're showing you on this unit is standard equipment. We build them basically to use in our rental fleet and we build them the way we're, we would outfit it to put into our rental fleet because this this unit well although we just pulled it off the line uh, it's February and I'm sure by March it'll be working somewhere uh, in our rental fleet or if someone would like we, we'll make one for them as well all right and, uh, then here's a here's a shot of that dirt shoe uh, 
brush style dirt shoe runner, which mm -hmm. we've gone to a lot in our runner fleet because there's less wear and less maintenance because you can hit things and it does a great job without, ha without track out uh, or streaking. Um, we're very happy. Yeah, we've done, uh, I know a, a feature on that is at the World Sweeper website in our in industry news section and uh, it seems to get really good reviews. The other thing we feature is a 54 inch diameter gutter broom and this unit will sweep 11 feet wide with adjustments from in the cab from 8 feet to 11 feet on the fly and uh, so you can bring it in for heavy 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 work or out for lighter work and uh, 11 feet wide is pretty good and you can see the adjustments in the strength of our gutter broom system uh, and you know the strength of everything if you look at the size of our main frame the size of the tubing the thickness of the tubing uh, you know, it all starts with the found. You, know, you start with a good foundation, and you can build up from there. And that's and that's what we do. Well, so. when we did the uh, profile on Stuart Amos, I was one of the people that learned about what the uh, history was of Stuart Amos. And when you see the, uh, the rock and gravel, heavy, heavy industry uh, roots that Stuart Amos has, and then look at the beefiness of their uh, equipment, you can see where the tie-in is. That's for sure. Well, thank you. And that's what you know. That's. The, our basis is in heavy industry and mining uh, and construction, and that's where we, you know, build industrial grade machinery to uh, go after the heavy jobs. So that's uh, that's it from NPE. It has a 12 foot 2 inch high dump height and uh, nice long reach to reach into the receiving vehicle. And a hopper that will never be that clean again. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure not. So. Well, is there anything else that uh, no, we need to add, or Ranger, we've that's, covered? That's it? pretty much the uh, the S5, and uh, and you have also a, in this in this line. There's right, a, we make the S4 and a twin engine version, a four cubic yard hopper on a non CDL chassis that uh, has the same sweeping mechanisms as the S5 and the S6. Uh, so it'll sweep those uh, with a 10 foot two dump height. The uh, the S6, which is our largest model, the six cubic yard twin R single engine version, which is the largest hopper available on the market for heavy duty sweeping uh, tollways by them from us uh, and contractors doing large milling jobs and that sort of thing. It's the, it's the big boy of the, of the industry. So we're real happy to have that and uh, uh, invite anyone that wants to come by and visit us in Harrisburg, see how we manufacture these. You're welcome anytime. You can find us on the web, obviously at Stuart amos.com, S-T-E-W-A-R-T dash A-M-O-S dot com or 800-482-2302 and ask for me, I'm Frank. I'd love right. to talk to you about it. All right, thanks Frank. Thanks Stranger, appreciate it. That's one of the advantages of uh, seeing the videos that are at World Sweeper from NPE. You get to see the, uh, and many times, the, the actual principles and, uh, and they'll say, here's the number to go to call me and uh, that's always fun, thanks. Thank you.